research and tilapia fish farming hi everybody welcome again to another episode of uh, fish keeping jamaica welcome to uh, this channel okay so today is a little bit different than before where in which i will be sharing with you some aspect of uh, fish farming whether it be ornamental fish farming or tilapia fish farming that you need to remember uh when going forward in a venture such as these okay so from about two years ago i have been um actually toying with the whole idea of keeping some tilapia i started to keep uh ornamental fish from as early as 2016 in bulk i normally have like a one aquarium from a little boy coming up but like having a lot in which i actually breed and i actually sell to pet shop that did not start until 2016 and then i gradually grew and then um i started the youtube channel i think it's in 2017. okay got a long story short about two years ago i decided that uh, two or three years ago i'm not sure i decided that i am going to try tilapia and I, I shared with you in uh, some of my previous videos how I actually got started. I'm not going to go straight into that. I'm going to actually, you know, tell you the dimension as to, you know, what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Now, uh, in research, oh, by the way, I am a educator by profession. And one of my pet peeves is, as an educator is to practically do research. Now you have different types of research and uh, my experience within the tilapia fish keeping is primarily what you refer to as an action research as I actually implement strategies I record the, the, uh, the results and I share them with you and as I go forward I learn a lot of things and I have shared that with you. That's primarily what I am doing. So I am not really a tilapia fish farmer per se. I am like more like a small outdoor uh, individual who just keep tilapia for personal use. And sometimes I might sell a few depending on the stock. All right. So in actually deciding that you're going to do a... Uh, a tilapia experience a tilapia farming experience where you're going to have extensive pond set up um getting stock um you know filtration and and you know keep these fish so that you can actually um sell them to make a money you know like business wise you're going to have to do what you call market research now market research is different from action research action research you're actually involved meanwhile you're learning and you're implementing new things meanwhile you're actually um observing the results and you're actually taking steps so as to improve your your, your outcome based on the actions that are being played out within the, the whole research process market research is somewhat different market research now it makes no sense that you actually start to keep tilapia, breed tilapia, get tilapia to become very large, and you do not have a market. So you need to do the market research. Now, in Jamaica, you have several meat processing companies, right? And these meat processing companies, they do chicken, beef, pork, uh, fish, a different type of meat you can think of goat sheep as i said before right okay so what you're gonna have to do now you're gonna have to do your market research when if i if i am able to produce 500 pounds of tilapia um meat right yeah tilapia fish right how will i be able to dispose of them what's the the, the return on my investment it makes no sense you have uh 600 tilapia at, at six seven inches or eight inches um in, in length uh weighing over 800 pounds and um 
there's no there's nobody to actually sell them to you're only doing it practically for yourself you wouldn't you wouldn't be so large right you wouldn't invest so heavily you wouldn't um hire those tractors to to clear that big three four acres of land and and dig holes in it and 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 set up your light bill to million and mash um i'm talking about from a jamaican perspective if you cannot see the return now there are many there are many uh ways in which tilapia uh, is used in jamaica at least i know right and uh a lot of restaurants will cook uh tilapia and sell it to their customers while some customers they prefer sea fish so for a lot of persons who are going into the tilapia um fish keeping uh business you know so as to sell to make a return you have to consider this am i going to be selling to the restaurants i'm going to be selling to a uh, meat processing plants am i going to be actually um just be selling it to normal customers um for example you know have somebody in in whom i know that i can actually sell it at the fish market right these are some of the things the questions that you have to ask it makes no sense we have as we and as a we i mean jamaica right have twenty thousand um fish vendors tilapia fish vendors and we have nobody to sell them to right tilapia fish is used to make fillet fish sticks burger and several other um condiments that exist within the, the local restaurant um you know arena right so some 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 um some recipes require uh fish cuttings uh and i say fish cut i mean the, the muscles the meat i'm not talking about the bone part right so you're gonna have to do some market research there now your market research is going to um practically determine the volume of tilapia that you're actually going to be um you know evolving in so it makes no sense that you only can dispose of 300 pound tilapia but at the same time on a on, on a on a i call it on a broad scale you have over 2000 um pound of a fish um within your within your your space right practically you're going ahead of yourself and you won't see the return because the expense to actually maintain that um 2000 pound uh tilapia meat will be really expensive right because you're going to have to talk about the whole idea of um you know feeding the fish you're talking about for those persons who might actually place them in the freezer you, you're still going to have to think about the light bill think about the processing you alone cannot manage to to take care of all of that so therefore you're going to have to get somebody to help you so you have to think about this before you actually go in it right now um the, the the whole idea of sharing with you market research and came from a question in which someone asked me in regards to um you know the direction as far as um you know how do i get the market how do i actually go out there and you know launch this business uh, investment like right now the the, the the local agricultural uh sector in jamaica uh, whether it be ministry of agriculture and fisheries or whether it be rada or whether it be aquaculture um um departments in jamaica all of them actually comes on like the same umbrella right the sad thing about um that sector is that they primarily only give advice as to how to actually culture or should i say keep <laughs> tilapia fish so after you keep it and it's 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 up to the harvesting period now you are practically on your own you're gonna have to find a market now it makes no sense to start a business and there's no market so you have to do the market research to determine what the volume whether or not it's viable whether or not i'm going to make a profit and estimated time frame in which um profitability is um foreseen right so this is a short video in which i thought it was prudent in sharing with you because it's 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 uh 
it's something that I, it's not the first time I got this question. I, it's, it's not the first time I get this question. I get this question about probably about four or five times already. So I'm not sharing it with you for those persons who are watching my videos, who are inspired to actually go into tilapia. You have to be very careful. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm presently trying to consume, although they are small, the tilapias in which I have, so as to get the fingerlings that is coming up in another system to get that space so that they too will grow out in which um the the fries in which i have in another system will be placed into the fingerlings system so it's a process and i practically um use my tilapia for my own personal use i i do not sell it I, it's just for me and my family right and um and 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 the whole action research in which i am presently doing here on youtube um it, it, it i had intended to just go for three months but based on the questions in which i have had i decided to delve more into lapia and it have actually aided me in my quest um in in in, in actually unearthing several valuable information on um on keeping fish not only tilapia but on keeping fish and keeping more builders and you know keeping fish in, in ponds and and green water and you know the whole dimension of it it is hope that this video share uh was a value to you guys have a wonderful day have a wonderful day peace out catch you next time bye bye